is Intro to Aquatic Ecology with Scuba Lab. This is the first moment of scientific diving. We are doing aquatic ecology. We're asking questions in aquatic ecology and most of the time using scuba to try to answer those questions. In terms of like what I want to do in the future, this is really helpful. <laughs> and it's also a really cool class because I mean, if you had to take a class in a lab, an upper level lab class, why wouldn't you get scuba certified? I mean, you get to go and swim in a pool. You get to go to some pretty cool sites. We're gonna go do some actual dives. What we've tried to do is basically just bring the reefs here um, so that people can see them in a different way than out of a textbook. I think it's about as close as you can get without being in the ocean. These are life-size, you know, one-to-one -one scale coral reefs from the Flower Garden Banks National Marine Sanctuary in the Northwest Gulf of Mexico. I, I'm actually in two separate classes uh, with Adrian and, and one of them we surveyed the reefs on land um, because the students in that class don't really have scuba experience. But in this class, uh, we, we all are certified now. And so now we can go in the water um, and do a, a real full-blown survey of reefs. It's my dream to uh, kind of do survey reefs um, in the Caribbean uh, as part of a study abroad. So this is kind of really good practice for that. Having this dimension of 2D reefs in a pool allows students to use the tools that scientists use underwater to ask ecological questions, and it also sort of pulls the curtain back and helps them to understand just how complicated logistically it can be to do aquatic research. Underwater, you're not in as much control as you would think. Um, and so you do have that weightless feeling, but then also you're weightless, so controlling just with your breathing, going up and down, is fun, but it's also sort of difficult. Everything is much easier on the surface. It's so awesome to have someone like uh, Adrian here. I think she's the reason that uh, I kind of decided this is what I wanted to do with my time here at Rice. This opportunity didn't exist last year. She just created this out of the blue. Um, she knew that we didn't have the opportunity to work with reefs being in Houston um, and she just kind of creatively figured out this way for us to study reefs and uh, it's it's just such an awesome opportunity we're really lucky to have it and it's all thanks to her.